Hey everybody, welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. If today's your first time watching our channel, we're all about tractors and heavy equipment. In today's episode, we're gonna work on a piece of equipment that's been sitting for years. I think you're gonna like it. Let's watch. How about you, I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley with me today. What's up, buddy? Well, good morning. You doing all right? Yeah, doing great. Beautiful day, isn't it? It is. Yeah. What you? What in the world? Are we standing in front of her? Okay, W. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> you know anything about it? No, I bought some stuff from this gentleman right. before right. that we haven't hauled out of here yet. And as he was showing me some other stuff around in his collection, yeah, I seen this. Yeah. And I thought about you. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you thinking of me. It's a crazy. It's a crazy truck. We'll we'll get more in close shots of it. But it's got trees growing through the rear end. It's got. Uh, the windows are down, but the hood's down, so... He said there was an engine in it. I okay. have no idea. All right, so we'll, we'll take a look and see what engine is in it. I, just from looking at the fenders, and I walk around the front, or kind of at the one o'clock of it, uh, I'm going to say it's an A model. Uh, I thought I seen uh, round headlights, and I think the B models had square headlights, if I'm not mistaken, okay. or, or rectangled uh, headlights. Okay. So I think it's an A model. We'll confirm that here in just a minute. We'll also start, uh, we'll cut away all this stuff and we'll start to use, uh, I brought a chainsaw and the trimmer with me and we'll figure out what year it is and what motor it's got in it. And then we'll crank it up and drive it home. Is that a welding jacket? Yeah, it actually is a welding jacket because my arms are fragile, sensitive. Yeah. So when I cut these limbs and stuff, I don't want it to be all scratched up. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. You know. No danger of that. You know. <laughs> I hear you. So let's get our let's get uh, let's get cut in and uh, let's kind of see what this truck is all about. We might be hauling uh, cores from Texarkana. What do you think after we get done yeah. with this one? So let's go stop by and get a Diablo sandwich and a Dr Pepper. <laughs> Chasing the bandit. Well, I hope there ain't no snakes in here. Sweet Magnolia. Hey, this thing's got a uh, anti-theft <laughs> device on it too, like that freight liner we That's got right. a hold of that time. You know what kind of tree is you're cutting? Uh, I would assume it's some type of maple. It's a sweet gum. I'm thinking it's a gum tree, like okay. a sweet gum. All right. All right, timber. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, let me pull that one off to the side here. My goodness, he's gonna hook to it like a skeeter. Oh, Since you got us away in here, I already see some concerns. Oh yeah? Yeah. What's that? Oh, there's no transmission. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we ain't gonna drive it out, are we? No. No, we're not. Uh, I don't mean, I did see a flywheel when I looked under there, so it does have an engine in it. That's a good sign. <laughs> that's a good sign. I guess I should have jumped over here and looked at it, but. Yeah, that's all right. We here now. We here now, for sure. Oh yeah, I hope we might could trim it up, get these vines out of the way. Right. Okay. Well, we'll try that to start with. Yeah. Yeah, I think it. Is. Look at these headlights. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure it's an A model. Look at I, that. Look at that little light up there. That's a yeah. running light. Yeah, that's awesome. This is such I a. This was on Smokey and the Bandit. It might have been. Possible. This might have been. Could have been a double. This, this, this could have been a stump double for the snowman. It, yeah, it looks like it was a stump double. When you ran through the gate right at the end and <laughs> hit all them popos. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's see. 
Oh, it's, it's such a pretty truck, dude. Can I say pretty or cool? Should I just say cool? Just say cool. Just say cool. We're a manly channel. All right. All right. All right. Let's let's trim up around that tree. Can you get that right there on the and that? One more. Where's this one? No, well, both of them, yeah, two more. Oh, howdy. Yeah. Yeah, I think it will flip over. Yeah. All right. Let's go here. I'm gonna go see if I can see a data plate on the door. Over here. Man. Anything hindering us on that side? Uh, I mean, not really. We can, we can get through it, I think. Okay. I mean, if we wanna get, if we want to clear it up, we can, but I don't think, I think it's okay. Of course, the starter's on that side. Look at this thing, holy moly. Okay, here we go. Let me get my glasses out. 16,100 pounds, truck model. Hold on, let me get my glasses out, oh, Wiley. Dear Lord, out. <laughs> yeah, it's an A model, W900A. Engine model W900A as well. Serial number, for those of you that want to research this, 15212 something something. 152. One two six S, as in Sierra. So if you guys want to Google that and see where this truck come from, it was a sleeper truck at one time. Yeah, I see the caulking that they had on there. Let me show you all the inside here. All right. Whoa. Oh, that's a shifter lever. Wiley. Hey. There's literally pistons in the floorboard. There's what? There's pistons. There's like four pistons in the floorboard. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I hope it ain't these pistons. No, these look like Detroit pistons. They're not Cummins pistons. Oh, Lord, what did you get? I bet you just got a bunch of response then. That was a joke. Okay. 252378. So maybe a million two? 1.2. Five, two, three, seven, eight, maybe. Look at that starter switch right there. That's like a battery disconnect. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Emergency only engine stop. Hopefully that don't, there's the throttle. They just don't make them like this anymore, Wiley. No. They don't. Cassette tape. Well, I'm looking at the world through a windshield. I still, let me look at the gas tank, see if we can see what year it is. Sometimes you can see the tires are, oh. Last tagged in 89. Wow. Let's see. 90 is, 90 is uh, 32 years, so 33 years. Wow. 33 years it's been sitting here. Is it okay to say wow? It's okay. Okay, wow. 95 gallon tank the fuel we might have to feed the fuel tanks open Wiley Well, did you bring some I did great? 100 gallon tank. I Don't see a uh, Fill no more than 90 gallon. Or 90 I just thought when we popped this hood the uh, 
head hitting off of it and, the, and the two pistons and jugs. All right, watch for critters. Watch for wasp. Critter alert. You gonna get in front of it now, Hank? All right, you got it? You got the cap? I mean the, yeah. you got the hood? Or have you got room to be in front of it? Well, I, I'm holding it back some if you need to. Yeah, come on with it. We Keep don't have to let it rest because all of the cables is off. All right, come on. It's all resting right. on that fuel tank. It's perfect. Well, we don't have to check the water. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, heck, fire. And no starter? No. Man, are you serious? So Cummins, probably a 290 would be my guess. Yeah. Man, that mosquitoes is tough, ain't it? What is this? Oh, it's good too. Probably fuel in there coming off the air compressor here. Yeah. Really, Wally? Huh. Let me go look on the other side. Just to see what the engine looks like. Okay. But it ain't locked up. No, I mean, I don't want really mind. We could get up with the owner and find see what he thinks about it and find a starter. Yeah. Yeah, cool. That starter was taken off 20-something years ago. <laughs> oh. That's what the starboard side looks like. Huh? I said this is what the starboard side looks like. Huh. Wiley, something else I just noticed too. Got the split windshield. What is it? The split window. That's a pretty cool feature. You know? Still don't know what year it is. Let's see if the tires got. That don't that don't mean nothing, but we'll see. It's not a bad idea, Wiley. Yeah. These mosquitoes are pretty, pretty hardcore. I mean, there's some that I thought a hummingbird was like. <laughs> you know what they used to do in Vietnam? What's that? They would let, for entertainment, they let the mosquito land on them, and then they draw their skin up tight and let that thing fill up with full of blood, then they let go of it. And that thing fly, fly off like a drunken sailor, man. Be, oh, like it was, anyway, that's what my uncle told me. He's probably telling stories. You know, yeah. Uncle Buford Smith. <laughs> oh. So I tell you what, we'll check the oil on this thing. Yeah. Then we'll run get the starter. And then, uh, well, we're, this thing's gonna fire up, Wiley. You know what I th just thought about? What's that? We just put a rebuilt starter on that Steiger. We did, didn't we? And I don't think he's picked it up and we should give him a call to see if it's okay if we borrow it. Borrow. Yeah. Okay. I think that's good. Or we can always go get it and it's easier to get forgiveness <laughs> than it is permission sometimes. That's right. Yeah, that's what we'll do then. We'll go back to that Steiger. If you haven't seen that Steiger video, I'll put the link right here. Go check it out because it's a really cool video of us. Well, it's Steiger videos, right? Yeah, it's two of them. Yeah. yeah. So go check out both of them. But we, we wrestled that thing for yeah. a little bit. We're getting, we're getting a little more intense in our videos, Wiley. You know? What does that mean? I don't know, but it sounded good in that sentence. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get the uh, cheat off the tank on the year? The driver's side. Let me see if it's on this side. I didn't. I personally didn't see it. Maybe you can find it. I don't know, but I could, I didn't see it. Well, it gives us warning. Yeah. It, it, it says 100 gallons. Okay. It says tank capacity 100 gallons. It don't really say 100 gallons. Uh, right. <laughs> Hank, before we go get a starter, you want to just see if it's locked up, if it's worth pursuing? Yeah. You got your man hands on? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's oh, a, look at that. 
Well, it quit then. It quit, but it... Oh. It, I think it's not turning because the belts are super loose. You know what I mean? Yeah, hang on. Let me get on the other side. I'll put some tension on that. Well, uh, you got I... it all messed up trying to cross for an old man. <laughs> I got you. I'll jump over there. Okay, thanks, thanks. <laughs> That's promising. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hey, let's make a, let's see if we make a rotation. All right, what let's, are we uh, doing here? Let's mark it somewhere or another. All right here, let's see if we can mark this thing. Let's see if we make a rotation. All right. Which way are you going? Down, I'll come up. Push down on that belt, Hank. Give me some tension on this belt. Oh yeah, this yeah. thing right here. Push, give me some tension on that bit. Yeah, she's in good shape. Oh yeah. Yeah, so there's the full rotation. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's promising. I'll tell you what we'll do, Wiley. All right. Let's run. Okay. Let's let's get out of the mosquito Goodness field bathtub Lord. here. And let's tell the the viewers what we're what we're fixing. All right. To do. Well, here's another thing we have to. <laughs> One more. <laughs> I know this this. Uh... Did you see the <laughs> snake? Was that a tire iron? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, let's check the oil in it. This is. Wait, it, it don't let me. We're gonna have to get some needle nose pliers. I'm not sure if that. I don't know. And this fuel filter's turned upside down. They're getting all they could out of it. Man, we're going to have to bypass all this and go straight to the injection pump. The turbo froze. Is it? You remember the Steiger had a turbo froze? Yep, I remember. Also, but it, it, it started without it, so. That ain't looking good. Why you keep bringing me all this half halfway built motors? Okay, so here's the fuel pump. So I think we can go directly to that and bypass everything. Hank. Sir. He don't have a, believe it or not, there's not a coming starter laying around here, you know, where that he can remember. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I guess we'll get over here where the mosquitoes ain't, ain't giving us a transfusion. Well, <laughs> So this fuel pump, we could take that hose off that fuel, the fuel line off the uh, filter, yeah. and tap into that. I think. Yeah, use it. Yeah, use a all, um, gravity fed. Yeah, gravity fed. Yeah, no and I think it would go into the thing. fuel pump here. So we'll we'll take it off this fuel filter, run it there, and then let's check the oil in it, Wally. Well, we got to have some needle nose pliers I'll get you or some. something. Yeah, I'll it, go. Uh, go. Okay, you're thinking that I was thinking the stick went there too. Oh! Uh, wow. This thing's making oil. Man, this thing's been sitting 25 years and it's still making oil. Look at that. That's Dello 400. Yeah. I can better quit saying that because what if Shell Rotella sponsors us and I keep saying Dello. Dello's not that a sponsor. made them want more. <laughs> I just have a bidding war. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's a good sign. No moisture in it. Oh, yeah, we didn't even get in there. There it goes. Here we go again, guys. Ow. Oh, it's... <laughs> it's like that sword, that sword yeah. swallowing trick. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, let's look at this okay, data plate. Hey, yeah, on the dash, see if there's any information on that that's useful. You know what I'm excited about, Wiley? Uh, lunch. That, and uh, no snakes or bees. Well, it's kind of cool for both. Uh, it's just that serial number again. Let's Google it right quick. One, one, five, two, I'm gonna write this down. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna put it in my note notepad. Yeah. And uh, and so let's see here. I'm gonna one five two one two six s. All right. So there we go. Let's Google it right quick. It's such a good looking truck. Oh my goodness, it's a good looking truck. You know, they were talking- No stress cracks or anything. It's amazing. It's got the visor up there. It's got no cracks in the visor. No cracks in the windshield. And look at those air horns. Air horns, they probably need touched up a little, but they're still in good shape. No hole, there's no rusted holes in them just to cover. It's got a little spot. This would be a great parts truck for somebody that's trying to restore a W900. Hey, if you're interested in buying this truck, Hank at HamiltonvilleFarm.com. I don't know if the guy wants to sell it. No, but we can find, we'll find out. We'll find out. But it'd be an excellent, I mean, like these fender lights, not cracked. You know, breather, not cracked. Bumper, not cracked. Bumper has no dents in it and it's not cracked. The grill, the grill, it's that might be an aftermarket grill, I'm not sure. But it looks like it's, I mean, there's no holes in the grill, but it definitely needs to be re-chromed. Man, that's nice. Nice truck. Guess what year it is? Uh, 81. Man, you're way off, dude. It's, uh, they had a sticker on the door for 89. That means they only drove for eight years. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get all mad at you. Do you forgive me? I guess. <laughs> I'll buy you lunch. 72. <laughs> oh, you're getting closer. 76, August of 76. This is the bicentennial truck. It's a bicentennial truck, dude. August of 76 is the serial number for the 152 numbers. There you go. That's awesome, ain't it, dude? Yeah. 1976. You were like 20. I was like, just got my driver's license. <laughs> you already had babies and a mortgage. No. No? Uh, you're old, dude. What are you, 80? You'll be 80 this year? 80 in the fourth grade, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's a 1976. That's crazy, man. So what we'll do is let's run down the road. I say run down the road. It's, it's literally in two hours. Yeah. It's two hours away. The starter that we're going to go get is two hours away. So we'll run and get that and then uh, and pull it off that Steiger. You ready? Yes. Are we going to eat before hey, we get there? What year did Smokey and the Bandit come out? Uh, that uh, was like 76 too, wasn't it? Let's see. Was this? Because that Trans Am was. Yeah, let's see. What year did Smokey? 19, May of 20, uh, May 27th, 1977. This is probably in the movie. This, this was. This, this This was in the movie. This is the one that come crashing through That's the right. gate. It's the Smokey and the Bandit crash truck. Yeah. The old, the old CBCT. Jerry Reed's DNA is in that truck. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the dog's S name? Uh, Fred. 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 Hi. You got peanut butter Fred, years or something? Fred made a mess on that passenger side old bird. Let's go get a starter off of Steiger. You want to? Let's do it. All right. Hey, come around. The, the, you see the dual tires here? I do. Let's go around the corner. I want to show you something. Right. And when I come around the corner, I've seen that thing. Oh, well, I can tell by the back tire what it is. Look at that. Look at that, Wiley. Oh, double M, Minneapolis Moline. That propane tank on the side. Wow. Wiley, you wouldn't know how to start that if you tried. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's got a starter on it. <laughs> we try to pull this off with that Dodge. Yeah. Yeah, this is like that natural gas or something. Wow. This must have come up during the cold weather. Well, either the embargo. It come up during the embargo, didn't it? <laughs> Probably. We might have to come back to this one. What do you guys think? You think we should come back and try to do a wheel stir on this? I'd have to do some serious researching on some uh, double M's there, some Minneapolis Molines or Mini Mo's or whatever. They're, you know, they got a slang term for them, but wow. Boy, you don't see many of those every day. That's a fact, I've Jack. I've never seen one. Have you not? Mm-mm. Yeah. Alford, there's a guy in Alford, Florida called Masters Farm Supply, and he's got a couple on his yard. But 
Yeah, now, these, I passed that place. I could have seen them there, yeah, not yeah. knowing what I was looking at. They have real distinct fenders like that. As soon as I saw those double headlights in the rear fender, I knew exactly what it was. Yeah. Yeah, that's an awesome machine, ain't it? Jim, at, uh, between the... Field rows? Yeah. Jim at Field Roads might want that to dig up in peanuts. <laughs> yeah, he could probably use it, couldn't he? Yeah. Jeff and Keefe, they don't I mean they tired of this air. It's fall time. They don't need air. They don't need right AC, now, do they? Uh -uh. uh uh. Let me know in the comments if you want us to come back to this thing. It's uh, I, I'll definitely have to do some research. I'll take some pictures of the uh, serial number and model numbers and stuff and see if it indeed runs off gas or diesel. If it runs off gas or diesel, we might we might have a fighting chance. If it runs off propane, mm, I don't know nothing about that. It's not diesel hike. I already give seen it. Oh no! Uh, oh, I see a distributor cap. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I don't know. We probably won't come back. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you all. In every video, we talk about we're not mechanics, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's uh let's go get a starter. Two classics in one day, Hank. We'll, uh, we'll get there, we'll get the tools out. If I remember, it's a 12.58. Do you remember? Yeah. And we just bought some. Yeah. So we should be able to get there and have that starter up. What do you think, 10 minutes? Like maybe seven and a half. <laughs> seven and a half. All right. So we'll get there, get the starter 25 up. 25 minutes later. 25 minutes later. Okay. Down the road we go. Let's stop at the. Uh, Mexican restaurant on the way there and fill our bellies. Yeah. I mean, it might take us 30 minutes. <laughs> we might get laid up underneath there and start yeah. to take a nap instead of we're taking the start. Yes, <laughs> Sounds good. to the Sager Wiley. You ain't got to start off yet? I'm gonna work on it. So let's, uh, let's just take it off and get forgiveness rather than yeah. get permission. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. We're gonna take this starter off uh, and then we will, uh, we're gonna fire that W900 up. Yeah. All right, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this thing off this machine. Wiley, what size you reckon it is? Uh, we're gonna need probably three quarters to get the... The pick set came off. Have you got any new stickers yet, hey? Yeah, I got the Guitar Slinger sent me one, and let's see, God's Little Helper, Jones Ready Mix, uh, 75 Crown Shop, Truth Church, maybe. I, can't, I think that might have been my new ones. Uh, how about I just give you that whole rack right there? Well, ain't nothing wrong with handing me a rack. All right, and then we'll use that. But a I'll, rack of ribs. A rack of ribs. Well, we're gonna need an extension. Okay, I got, I got a, sh I got a little one in my tool bag down there. And if we need a longer one, I, I think we're I've gonna, got. We're gonna have to have a longer one. We got to go the length of the starter. All right, I think I got, I think I got one down in here. Half inch drive? Yeah, you'll have it in your T walk tubes, won't you? Yeah, let me find out where I put it. And the other ones. And the what? And all you got. All you got, son. All right. That's my half inch drive. Might use an adapter. We can't. Huh? What you looking for? A D walk. What? Right there, yeah. All right. Uh, I got another extension here. Yeah. 
I'm just going to see if I'm right on taking these uh, padded cables off, ends off. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Did we put in all three of them? No, I think we just did two. I got, I can see the bottom one here, man. No, all three of them are on there. Oh, man. Yeah. That's all right, though. We can get it. That's all right. They shouldn't be seized up, you know? They shouldn't be. We got to carry the boats with us now. Oh, good, good call. That's a different size nut, ain't it? It's gonna work though. This is definitely an easy starter to take on and off. Last time I think while we ran a ratchet strap on here and uh, pulled it out that way. Well, guess what you don't have in here? On that rack? The 5 eighths. Really? Well, then it must be on a ratchet somewhere. You know? It's probably in the bottom of that. Yeah, probably. I'm sure it's down here somewhere. I'm sure of it. Look at that. There she is. Mm-hmm. Do you want to put that drill on it? Do you want to? I don't know if you can. Yeah, give me the drill with it. I've got a swivel extension. Well, I don't know where your swivel extension that's, that's is. That's all right, Wiley. I got the bottom one out. Can you reach that top one? Yes. There you go. I was calling that the top one. What's that? I'm sorry. Nothing. Let's save that one for last, Hank. Oh, yeah. We got an idea. Can you reach that other one? Let me see. And then give I'll... Me the, give me the hard one, will you? <laughs> I thought you getting under this thing would be hard. That's why I, get, I took it. Let me find that swivel. Can you see what I'm doing? No, let me find that swivel extension. I mean. I need a longer, one more extension. I just saw the swivels. Right here.
Here you go. Ah, it ain't gonna be long enough, Hank. Is that only one we got? That's this swivel. Yes, no, maybe? Well, I could think I can. really see but maybe I can <laughs> you may give a shot from up there. There you go. I thought you might have had it that time. I was on it last time. That thing ain't that tight. Maybe it broke loose that time. Yeah. Of all the ones you had to get tight, you got that one tight. <laughs> Would it work better without an extension? No. Couldn't get on it, I don't think. But the, you need one more short extension. All right, let me see what I got. Maybe. You can't get this thing on that, I don't think. Maybe put the... I got a half inch drive. Ugh. So we can play it that game. Here you go. Well, that one fit, this one might not fit in there. See if you, where's your little old, hey. What? Where's your little old, uh, cheap breaker bar? See if you can get on that that one, keep it. Uh, That's it. I'll tell you what, that, that one, absolutely. Do it again? No, you get it? Now I use your crate. Hey, run the tape and see who tied this one up. Run the, run I'm the sure Donnie did film. it. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you put the bottom one in. <laughs> yeah, I see how easy it was for you to get out. You know I did. I've left some more blood on the stagger. <laughs> This boat must have went all the way back to the transmission. Yeah. But we got it. We got her. What you grumbling? <laughs> I 
this song going out to him. It really fought us. So is it not one come out of socket? No, it ain't. I got some vice grips in the bag. Vice grips? Yeah. It won't be, but it won't take us 10 minutes to pull this thing out of here. I told you <laughs> if we didn't eat, we had to stop and eat. Look at that. Look at that with that. That thing biting. That's the corner here. That turbo hose. That's done something for real. For real, for real. This and this is older. Finally. Finally. Three hours later. <laughs> Ten. Oh. No, they're going in the bag with the uh, cordless tools. All right. The cordless crescent wrench? Yeah. My two were easy, Wiley. Yeah. <laughs> so we see. <laughs> oh, boy. Couldn't do that again. We tried, could we? He blocked that shot. That's right. You got that? Yeah. It's going to fall now. All right, let go. Easier said than done. All right, I got it. I got it. Come on, lay it. drop it on down. All right, hang on. It's hung up on the hole. Yeah, I got you. All right, here it comes. That sucker's heavy. Watch your toes. This sucker heavy. All right, Wiley, what do you think? That wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't bad at all, was it? Uh -uh. So in the next video, what you'll see on the part two of this W900 is you'll see us putting this starter into that 290 Cummins. Yep. Think it's gonna crank? Yeah. Yeah. I believe you. I got I faith in you. I appreciate you having faith. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, we appreciate you guys watching. Me and Wiley do some crazy stuff around here at Hamiltonville Farm. As a matter of fact, in our next video, we're actually moving a ground saw. We're taking my tractor and my gooseneck and we're moving this big piece of equipment. Really, it's a must have piece of equipment if you're gonna be in a, a, a logging operation. So let me show you a little snippet of what's coming up next. I think you're gonna enjoy it. You guys take care. God bless you guys. merchandise and discount codes in the description box below and check out the Amazon link in the first comment. Those links help support the channel. Thank you for watching and God bless.